mean, how difficult was that? I don't think people understand that, man. How far you got in your career. A lot of people didn't expect yeah. that. Without the respect. Man. Yeah, you know, exactly. So, you know, it's just... Um, I know I know what the fans want. I know what I want. And, um, you know, one thing, one thing is, like, the promoters can't deny the response that comes from the fans. So, like, when they put me on this co-main event, that's not an accident. It's like they know they need it. They know they need somebody solid that the fans are drawn to, you know. And um, I love the fans for that. I love the fans for for backing me up and supporting me and showing me love. You know, my shirts are doing good. Um, I got a big support in, in Dallas. Like a lot, the, the shirts are selling the most in Texas. Really? And then second is Los Angeles. And, you know, we getting orders in Australia and Canada and the UK, Philly. I got a shirt order from Omaha. Shout out to Omaha. Terrence Crawford, maybe? Uh, right? Matter of fact, it was for Terrence Crawford's uh, camp. Oh, wow. Michigan, Michigan. Shout out to DC. And I know I'm forgetting Jersey. It's been love, bro. It's like, it's crazy. So, okay. you know, thing. It's, a, it's a beautiful thing. Wanda Rousey came out the blue once again. She said that, I guess... MMA is more violent than boxing and whatnot. Um, how do you take to that? Max Kahneman kind of co-signed it. Um, I mean, um, listen, it looks more violent, but I mean, the... boxing is more violent than, 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 than MMA. Oh, she said box is more violent than MMA. Yeah. Well, wait, which one did you say? I, don't know, I didn't even hear that. Listen, I think it was the other way around. Yeah. This is my opinion. Boxing, boxing takes a toll, and I'll tell you why. Because MMA is very physical, and you get hurt. But the thing is, boxing is brain is brain is more. The risk of brain trauma is higher with boxing, because when you're fighting 12 rounds, those are all headshots, body shots, headshots, body shots, headshots. Same beating, yeah. So it's it affects the brain, bro. How many fighters you know that can't even talk now, bro? Yeah, it's a lot. How many MMA guys walking around and can't talk? Look none, <laughs> none. They might have, they might walk with a limp because they got their leg broke. Cauliflower but listen, if you get your leg broke, it's going to get healed. If you get your, 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 your elbow broke, it's going to heal. You can't heal, you can't heal the brain. You know I'm saying, look at Wilfredo Gomez. Look at Benitez. Look at so many fighters that, you know, and so many fighters that can't even talk, right? So, so I think uh, boxing definitely takes... As far as health wise, is uh, a lot more riskier yeah, than that's MMA. That's basically what she said. That, it, that uh, obviously, um, it's the brain trauma. Boxing was the safest. The um, safest now trauma. MMA, I got a lot of respect for it. It's hard. Yeah. You get hit with elbows and all that stuff. But I'm saying in the long, in the long term, boxing is definitely, definitely takes a toll on the body because of the brain trauma. Yeah. And Gabe, you know, we see MMA right now. It, it goes in spurts, man. It, it to get a start goes really high, and then when the start gone, it goes really low. Yeah. As far as boxing, man, where, where, where are we at now in the landscape with Manny, Floyd, all them leaving, kind of New Jersey coming up? Do you see anybody right now on the horizon that can take that mantle and bring that attention back to boxing? Well, you know, um, you know, Canelo's right there. You know, I'm I'm creeping up right there behind Canelo. Um, Triple G, you got Kovalev, you got Ward, you got Terrence is coming up. You got Danny Garcia. We got a lot of great fights on the, you know, coming for him. So, you know, the sport is bright, bro. You know what I'm saying? The sport is bright.